Hey everybody, welcome back to Talk with Naya. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with Sweetie. So Sweetie is coming with new music. We recently spoke about Sweetie in an interview speaking on how she will address all the rumors about her and some new music. It seems that she went to TikTok and showed some behind the scenes footage of her doing a photo shoot and we got a snippet of some new music. Let me play you the clip. Tell nobody we fuck that. Shut your mouth, nigga, don't say nothing. I'ma put this pussy in his mouth. I'ma put this pussy in his mouth. Don't you tell nobody we fuck that. So it seems that Sweetie's not going to be holding back and will be releasing some stuff about the little baby rumors. Okay, that's what I'm assuming. And then we'll see if she'll be addressing Quavo as well. Now let's say congratulations to Drake and 21 Savage as they occupy 8 out of 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, okay, from their new album. So what do you think of the Drake and 21 Savage project? What's your favorite song on their album? Now let's move on to Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey is taking over Christmas again as her Merry Christmas album re-enters this week's Billboard 200 chart at number 85. We recently spoke about Mariah Carey and how she wrote about 18 of her number one hits and she owns her masters, okay? So Mariah Carey is collecting that Christmas coin right now, all right? Now let's move on to Bia because Bia got caught liking a comment that said Nikki take notes on TikTok and she claims that it was a mistake and that people are trying to start drama. She says Nikki is her sister for life. So what do you guys think about that whole situation? Now let's move on to Megan Thee Stallion. So Megan Thee Stallion is granted a temporary restraining order against her label and distributor, which is 1501 and 300 Entertainment. According to the documents, which was attained by TMZ, Megan claims 1501 made threatening and retaliatory moves to block Megan from using her own music in connection with the AMAs, okay, which is going to be coming on Sunday. She doesn't specify what 1501 and 300 Entertainment allegedly said or did to mess with her AMA broadcast on, AMC, on ABC, but a judge heard enough to grant the temporary restraining order. Both companies are now blocked from interfering with her music being used on the award show, and she is nominated for Best Hip Hop Artist for the AMAs, which is coming out on Sunday. So... That is very interesting. We talked about this in the past with Megan Thee Stallion having issues with her label, okay, fulfilling her contract, if she made enough albums or not. So we shall see. Clearly, there is still more drama between Megan, 1501, and 300 Entertainment. Now let's move on to the Grammy. So congrats to Viola Davis for being nominated for the Grammys for the first time. And if she wins, she'll become an EGOT winner, which means having an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and a Tony. So hopefully she can take home this Grammy. Now let's also mention Beyonce because Beyonce has surpassed Jay-Z as the most nominated artist in Grammy history. Now speaking of Beyonce, it's being predicted that Adele will win album of the year over Beyonce's Renaissance album. So what do you guys think about that? However, the Grammys is actually expected to have its lowest viewership ever since its debut in 1959. So people are not tuning into the Grammys anymore. I've been reading the comments. Some of you guys are saying you're not even gonna watch it. So the Grammys, I think it's pretty much flopping. I don't think people really care too much about the Grammys, especially with certain artists boycotting the Grammys and not being that into it anymore because they feel that some of the nominations are unfair. Okay, now let's move on. So Glorilla's EP, Anyways Life's Great, is challenging a top 10 debut on US albums chart with nearly 30K units sold in the first week. Some people were commenting saying that this is great for an EP, she's a new artist. And some people, like we talked about before, they wanted Glorilla to do 300K, no less than 300K within the first week, okay? So clearly she did not do that. Some people pointed out that her album, her EP, sold more than some more established rappers that are out here right now. So anyway, you know, Glorilla's a new artist. She's nominated for a Grammy, first ever nomination, and she just got out here. So congratulations to her. I think she's doing a great job. Now let's talk about Taylor Swift. So Taylor Swift's era tour is currently being resold tickets are being resold at 24.3k for floor seats all right are y'all paying 24k to get floor seats to taylor swift that's insane i'd be shocked if those tickets sold for that price now lastly let's talk about scissor so scissor announces her new 
album SOS and that'll be released next month which was shared on a new interview with Billboard. So SZA is delivering a new album and I cannot wait to hear it all right are you guys excited for a new SZA project because I definitely am and that is all I have for today I will see you guys in the next video bye